Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're going to do a review on a 2021 Tahoe. Okay, now this comes in a two wheel drive and a four wheel drive. So, and that's what the two wheel drive, it'll run you $50,000. And $95. Okay. Now the four wheel drive will run you $53,295. Three, I mean, if you're going to pay $50,000 for a vehicle, why would you not put the extra $3,000 with it and get the best vehicle? All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, if you like car reviews, all different kind of reviews, do me a favor. You're in the right spot. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and just join me whenever I put out a video. I'd really appreciate it. All right, back to the 2021 Tahoe. Okay, now this thing, I mean, you know what? The Chevy Tahoe is trying to... I guess kind of compete now with the GMC Denali because the Chevy Tahoe now has, it's called a high country. Now the high country will run you $73,895. Yeah. Sounds a little pricey from, you know, 53 up to 73, but you know, they're trying you know, it's, it's all about the name, I guess, high country Denali and all of that, but you have uh, gas, you know, options, you have ethanol. Now let's get into some of the engines uh, these things have. Now you have a, a 5.3 liter is what we're talking about today. But you also have a 6.2 liter, which uh, pushes out 420 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, that's a big boy. Now coming up soon, they're gonna have a six cylinder 3.0 diesel, which the, the horsepower is going to be a little bit less, but the torque is going to be the same at 460 foot pounds of torque, which is going to be, you know, pretty crazy. Now, all these are going to have the 10 uh, speed transmission. So, you know, that seemed like it would be pretty good. Now, as far as gas mileage, um, you will get 15 miles to the gallon in the city you'll get 21 miles to the gallon on the highway, which gives you a combined of 17 miles to the gallon, you know, which ain't too bad. Now, this thing's going to have a 26-gallon tank on it. Okay, 26-gallon tank. So it's a pretty decent-sized vehicle. It's um, one. 116-inch wheelbase, and the length of it is 200 and four inches, you know, which, which ain't too bad. Now the ground clearance is uh, 7.87 inches, which ain't too bad. Now it seats seven. I mean, you'll get what I'm talking about in a minute. It seats seven people comfortably. Okay. But let's say you do need all, let's say you do need room for all seven people. You still have 15 cubic feet in the back between the third row seat and you know your hatch you got and so it they made it bigger this year okay let's say you don't need all seven seven's a lot of people so if you want to bring that that third row of seat down you can have 51 51.7 cubic feet and that's just if you're using you know the front seat and the back seat if you're not using the third row, you could have 51.7 cubic. You can put a lot, a lot of stuff back there. Now, if you didn't need the second row of seats, you can um you can have 94.7 cubic feet. 94.7 cubic feet. That's a this is a big vehicle. That's a lot of room. Okay. Which you know is is pretty good, but um 94.7. Now let's come back up to the front 
you know, with the infotainment center and everything, you have a, a 10.2 inch infotainment center. Now, behind the front seats, you have two, well, behind each seat, you have a 12.6 inch um, screens, display screens, which is pretty cool. I guess if you got some, you know, kids or someone in the back, just keep them company, you know, on trips or whatever, which is really nice. Now, up front, you have a um, diagonal, diagonal color touchscreen navigation, okay, which is pretty cool. You also have uh, Bluetooth in there, you know, Bluetooth streaming. You have, you know, all the features like Apple CarPlay. You have Android capabilities, you know, stuff like that, which is really nice. Oh, let me tell you something else that's really nice. Your rear view mirror. Like if you look in your rearview mirror, you know, you can see what's in the back seat or the third row seat, whatever, kind of what's inside the vehicle, but it's got this little flip button, whatever you, it's not a button, but thing you can flip forward right here. And what it does, it's got a camera on the outside that gives you view of everything outside, which is really nice. But a lot of people's doing that nowadays, and I like it. I think it's really helpful to see everything around you, you know, on the outside. So that's really good. Now, up front, well, you got them up front. You got them on the sides and stuff like that. Auxiliary, you know, jacks and stuff like that. Now, talking about, you know, being on the inside, that third row, they've actually added 10 extra inches to that third row is what I was talking about earlier about uh, fitting seven people comfortably. 10 extra inches, I could get back there and, and sit comfortably. So yeah, you could put seven adults inside you know, the 2021 Tahoe, which is really nice. And the, the second row, it slides. It's for flexibility, it slides forward and backward. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice. Now, what that does is that adds 28, um, 28 cubic feet inside of the Tahoe, which is which is really nice. Uh, yeah, tw 28 cubic feet just inside. I mean, dealing with, you know, the third row and then the 15 in the back and stuff like that. Now, let's go outside and let's get up under this thing. See what we got up under here. Now, you have rack opinion steering. You have... Uh, the front suspension is independent. Your rear suspension is multi-link. Now, the tires, you have, the wheels are 20 by 9s. I'd probably prefer 22s, and I'm, I'm sure they're available. But it comes with 20 by 9s. And the tires are 275 55s. So, I mean, that's, that's not too bad. Now, this thing can tow. If you need, to, I mean, this thing is a beast when it comes to towing. Now, the maximum tow on the dead weight is 5,000 pounds. But the maximum tow on the weight distribution hitch is 6,400 pounds, which, you know, is pretty good. Now, this thing's rated, this thing's rated at 7,300 pounds, the gross vehicular rating. And the curb weight on this thing is 5,456, which is, which is pretty nice. This thing is, this thing is pretty, it's a beast. Um, all right, guys, you know, I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. Uh, if you would, please subscribe to the channel. Um, leave me a comment, you know, let me know. If you buy one, definitely let me know. I'd like to know what you think about it. Um, so I guess that's it for today. If you would. Be good to yourself and please be good to others. All right. Thank you.